it seems like the future could be very bright for this game. What do you see in it? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think that this had a very good shot at becoming one of, if not the next major esports titles. Um, just from, obviously I can't reveal a lot of what I know, but just from what I know about Blizzard's plans, I really believe in what they're doing. Uh, not only from the esports uh, infrastructure angle, but from looking at the way that they want to change the spectator mode and all of the hard work and the dedication that Blizzard has towards improving the game, improving the infrastructure in the scene. It's very encouraging, very encouraging. When I was like a pro player, let's say, let's, let's put pro in quotes. I was a competitive okay. player in Team Fortress 2. Right. It wasn't yes. a very big game. Um, Valve is notorious for being like very hands off with their games. I think that's pretty true for almost all of them. Yeah. You know, it's not like the CSGO guys, like Dota guys. I mean, I think it's pretty much across the board. Valve generally doesn't communicate as much as, you know, other developers do like Riot and, that, and such. Um, Blizzard, on the other hand, has been amazing in that aspect. You know, they ask pro players, like, you know, what's your feedback on these balance changes? How do you feel about this? What's your opinion on this? And they're like, I feel like I'm part of the balance process, not just me, but other players as well. We're like, they ask us for our opinion on things, and we tell them, oh, this sucks for X, Y, Z. And they're like, oh, that's a good idea. We'll tweak it like this on the new, like, the new patch on the PTR. And it's like, it feels like they care a lot. And it's really, really awesome to be a part of it. What brings you to Overwatch, sir? Um, I've played a couple games of Overwatch. So if you were to compare League to Overwatch, I would say that uh, when it comes to infrastructure, I think that Overwatch will grow a lot faster because all the mistakes you've learned from League, StarCraft, any other esports game can be translated as a learning experience into Overwatch. And on top of that, Overwatch is a very fun game. It's a six on six. Um, it has aspects of a MOBA, shooting games, and there's a lot of popular um, pro players from other games that are play CSGO, um, Team Fortress 2, so the growth comes a lot faster because there's already other games in place to prop it up. So let's see what they can do. There comes the Graviton Surge and Arhan pulls oh up the Dragon Blade. Sweden is in big trouble. Well, I mean, first of all, you need the platform, right? And I think Overwatch is a great platform that you can build a good sport off of. Uh, we've got the game modes that exist in the game so far, which are really entertaining to watch. Escort is great, Assault is great, uh, you know, Control. Maybe some of the maps on Assault and Control need a little bit of work, but overall, you know, it's a really fun game mode to watch. And uh, But more importantly, you've got the platform, right, where you can add characters in, you can add maps in, you can add game modes in. So this is a game that you can continue to evolve and build, and uh, as a caster, that's very exciting because I like to keep things fresh and keep, you know, I, I don't want to do the same thing every single match. And as a fan, too, and as a player, it, it gives you more to watch, it gives you more to do and kind of improve yourself on. So I think Overwatch has the platform to be a really good esport for a really long time. You see he peeked over that little fence there. A hook across the gap from a roadhog is deadly. Oh my god! He predicts the hook on the wall. One of the interesting things about the Overwatch scene is that because it's been so explosively growing, you've been getting a lot of people trying to get into the scene, which has sort of led to this thing where it's been a little bit crazy, but I would expect things to get more structured, a little bit more sane for not only the players and the people casting it, but also the fans, where it'd be good if the fans had a more of a solid schedule. They know, all right, so next month this is happening. I know I want to watch this. My favorite teams and players will be watching. That sort of thing.